Yo, what's going on guys, boy Uj. So, imagine if we have Power Rangers that was original and we didn't take footage from Japan. <gasps> Well, we're going to be talking about something off of these recent speculations that was reported by Illuminerdy. There is a possibility that Hasbro might actually be cutting ties with Toei. Now, for those that don't realize or know what Toei is or what we're really even talking about right now, Toei is a studios in Japan that owns a lot of the rights to things like One Piece and Dragon Ball and Digimon and more importantly, spe specifically, you know, kind of gearing towards what we're talking about today, Super Sentai, Kamen Rider, a lot of the tokusatsu genre. What is tokusatsu? Basically, this is the source as to where we get Power Rangers from. And yes, in the past, we've tried to do Kamen Rider and we've tried to do plenty other tokusatsu inspired franchises, but because Hasbro could potentially be discontinuing their partnership with Toei, that honestly raises the brows of many and asks several different questions as to what this could potentially mean. So as the Power Ranger guy myself, I will definitely shed some light on a couple things and, and I guess as, as we're talking about it, maybe debunk a few things at the same time. First and foremost, let me just get this tidbit from Illuminerdy out of the way and then we're kind of going to jump right into it. Ow! Illuminerdy has recently got word that Hasbro will reportedly not be continuing their partnership with Toei, including the use of footage from Super Sentai for the Power Rangers television series. This means that according to our sources, Super Sentai will no longer be a factor in production for Power Rangers. So for those that never knew, if you actually go look at any episode of Power Rangers, most more than likely, especially the ones from the 90s, you will definitely see a lot of Super Sentai without even really realizing it because as a matter of fact power rangers the bulk and the majority of the footage when they are suited up is directly from the corresponding super sentai so for mighty morphin it'd be zoo ranger if it was for zeo it'd be o ranger so on and so forth and with that idea being presented without there being super sentai footage any longer that only means one thing if they're going to continue with producing the television series of power rangers that could mean all of this going forward, they would essentially be filming brand new footage, not even just brand new footage, but exclusive footage to our version of Power Rangers. Power Rangers started out as an adaptation to the Japanese counterpart, Super Sentai. But now, if we're gonna have Power Rangers continue from the lore that we've created, i.e., this is where I kinda segue into talking about the comic books. The comic books made by Boom Studios is a perfect example as to where they could lean towards and maybe adapt from, or maybe even expand upon the source material because Boom Studios has done a fantastic job adapting the lore that we've already known through the television series but they've done it in such a great way that they've expanded upon it where I personally don't even like to look at the original as the canon anymore. I like to just see what they're doing and they're just doing so much more and then some. So what exactly does this mean with the current speculation um, and you know apparently the source is going forward. If Hasbro is actually cutting ties with Toei, this means a couple things. If it's true, Dino Fury, which is slated to start uh, releasing new episodes next year, 2021, will be the last season under the Nickelodeon contract. This also means that, like I was mentioning, this would be originally produced teams because since we have grown accustomed to the nature of seeing whatever Japan does and then taking what we want and using the footage for the respective series right now beast morphers is adapting go busters which was the 2012 sentai and that was kind of out of the norm considering that we as you know power rangers have chosen the more recent series without skipping over some as best as we possibly can since starting from mighty morphin we've only skipped a few for and we had a very long streak it went from mighty morphin and then we did have a little bit of of alien rangers through kaku ranger but we skipped die ranger die ranger has never been truly adapted as far as the suits are concerned we did take the kiba ranger which is tommy's white ranger suit for those that don't know he was actually adapted off of a kid 
probably where they got the idea to do Justin and Turbo. So after that, we had a pretty good streak all the way up until recently where they actually skipped Tokuger, if I'm getting this right. They skipped to Tokuger and went straight to Ninja. Our version, of course, was Ninja Steel. And then after Ninja Steel, they went back instead of going to what have, would have been the next season, which is Zu Oger, because I am a fan of both Power Rangers and the Sentai versions. And Zu Oger would have been an animal team. I could have definitely seen them doing that, but for some reason they decided to go back and they decided to adapt Go Busters, which is now our Beast Morphers, which is the first time they've ever gone so far back instead of taking from a recent pool of options, because realistically, they still technically have Tokuger as an option. They have Zooger, they have Q Ranger, and then they have one of my personal favorites, Lupin Ranger versus Pato Ranger. And it was highly unlikely for them to, to, to take from the current Kira Major right now. But realistically, this is four to five options to pick from, and they went back and went with Go Buster. Probably just due to the fact that there are ties with Kyoryuger, which is the Dino Charge counterpart through the movie that Japan got. And because of that, they were like, you know, we could set up to that episode special just so that we could bring back actors that we've already had on our Nickelodeon shows, like from Dino Charge and um, also from... Oh yeah, no, it's actually just Donald Trump. <laughs> but actually, it was probably to just bring Jason back. That's just me going off of my own personal feelings. It's probably a lot more to it. But the reality is they went back to Go Buster for Beast Morphers just because of that tie and that connection that they have already established being that originally it was supposed to go from Go Kyger, Go Buster, Kyoryuger. And if for us, it would have been Mega Force or Super Mega Force, Beast Morphers, then Kyoryuger. But they decided to kind of skip that and go straight to the dinosaurs because apparently dinosaurs just sell so well. It's a big nod to the Mighty Morphin, yada, yada, yada. You guys already know how that goes. Furthermore, what does this mean to kind of get right back onto track here? More focus on the adaptation of the lore expanded upon by Boom Studios comic books, which I've already mentioned. This is something that a lot of fans are speculating themselves and they actually want to see. Me personally, I can tell you, I have started a Discord just for Power Rangers Battle for the Grid that's seeing over 3,000 and active members almost at 4,000 so if you haven't joined in definitely uh, check out that link in the description below where we have channels where we talk about Power Rangers outside of just the video game itself but we do have channels to talk about stuff like this where the future of what's to happen next with the Power Rangers franchise Super Sentai franchise whatever knowing that we have the option or the possibility of them focusing on adapting some of that expanded lore from Boom Studios would be amazing and it would be a great idea a lot of the fans would already be behind it especially since they've been vocal about said things and not to mention I think that they almost made the Lord Draken short its own series because they actually made like a live action to help promote and boost the interest of the comics themselves back when they were first starting with the uh, Shatter Grid story arc. This also means that the animated series that we're all waiting for, this one's another given. If they decided to take this franchise in a new direction where they were gonna take a break from trying to do live action stuff and they decided to not only expand upon the lore that Boom Studios has introduced within the comics, but they took it a ne the next step further and made us an animated series of all that would be amazing. I feel like this would be the best way to get Power Rangers new fans. That's been a question for a long time over the years. How do you get new fans for Power Rangers? Because right now, it's a very niche audience. A lot of the audience is still built on us, the original fans from the 90s. A lot of these kids nowadays, they're watching Power Rangers and they think it's all flashy and colorful and cool and that's great. That's kind of what we were thinking back in the day with our crappy ass visuals and graphics and whatever. But at the end of the day, they're all about selling toys. But it's now not just about the toys because if we have stuff like comic books and we have stuff like these video games and other things that are just expanding on the franchise and getting not just the original diehard fans buying into all this stuff, but if you're trying to attract new audience members, then having a new source of media that's never been presented before is probably something that you might want to do. And I always say this, imagine we had a Spider-Verse version of Power Rangers. 
that would be godlike. And lastly, what could this possibly mean? The discontinuing of the partnership between Toei and Hasbro is the off chance that they altogether cancel Power Rangers. Now, I'm going to debunk this one right now before I waste any more of your time. I know that Paramount is still in the works behind a Power Rangers film and that Hasbro has been really high and supportive of this film. I don't think they would care as much if uh, they were just going to freaking shut it all down anyway. Why go out of your way to have Paramount make a freaking new movie for Power Rangers when they're just ultimately going to just shut it all down just because they're cutting ties with Toei? I think that this one is super unlikely. I'm probably just going to go on record saying that's not going to happen. Power Rangers is way too popular of a franchise. We have lesser franchises that, in my opinion, that are still around to this day that are still seeing whatever cartoons and whatever toys and all that kind of stuff that they're getting. There's no chance that Power Rangers anytime soon will be getting shut down because as it is right now, it is still a very talked about franchise. People still care about it, whether it's a lot more of the hardcore and less of new fans. I can tell you that Power Rangers is not going anywhere. Also, one last thing to note that the production of Power Rangers franchise has moved to another Hasbro subsidiary, E1, who is known to produce shows like Peppa Pig, but this is going off of what this article is. Again, link in the description below so you can read all the details yourself. This bit was part of the factual information that is not speculation that originally the Power Rangers franchise was handled by another production studio now getting moved over over to another Hasbro subsidiary being E1. I don't know why this article by Illuminati highlighted Peppa Pig because that is only just gonna intimidate and worry a lot of the fans. Guys, this is why I'm here. I am here to do a little bit more research and to inform you guys that don't worry, Power Rangers being produced by E1 wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Just because they've done stuff like Peppa Pig and My Little Pony, it gets better, I promise. They've produced shows like, I don't know, The Walking Dead. Do I need to say anything else? With that in mind, this also brings me back to believing that even if they were to decide to go the route of an animated series, I don't think that that kind of shuts down the possibility that they could have both a television series with live actors and an animated series. I think that if they were to go in that direction where they kind of just have their hands in everything and just kind of adding more love to the franchise, for us to just absorb all at once. I think that'd be a great idea. I think that that'd be awesome, especially if we have a production company that's handled the likes of Walking Dead and even fear the Walking Dead. For Power Rangers, I'm not saying Power Rangers are gonna freaking start introducing zombies and stuff like that, but I'm saying I bring those shows up because look at the quality of those shows. When you watch them Walking Dead, for those that have not seen it, this show is like highly praised. It's, it, I don't even think it's, it's over. It's been around for a long ass time and that's another series that was adapted off of comics and Power Rangers and now has opportunity to grow even more because we're not just going to be copy and pasting from Japan anymore. So I don't think it's a terrible idea. I think it's going to be something that we're going to have to get used to over time because the norm is we expect sometime in the future to see something that Japan has already done. But now we have this time, this chance to continue to make more original Power Rangers and the production of this franchise could actually go up and who knows I'm just hoping that it's not just the visuals and those, those upgraded cameras or whatever that's gonna be adding to Power Rangers I, I hope that the script writers and all these people that are responsible for the stories the arcs that take place within Power Rangers I just hope that they do it right and that they give us some really high quality stuff and not just visually. So again, I hope I didn't waste too much of your time, guys. This is pretty much all of the talks and speculations that we have gotten with this recent news from Illuminati. Again, the link for that article will be in the description below. I also include a link to E1, which is the, the production company that I've been talking about, the subsidiary of Hasbro. So that way you can see a list of all the shows that they've produced because, again, the article only noted Peppa Pig and I know that can be alarming for people because you don't want we don't want like a super overdone cartoony looking Power Rangers if we're gonna have an animated series we want something that's gonna look a little bit more polished like I say best case scenario would look something a lot like Spider-Verse or even like any of like other animated series pretty much like maybe like even done by like DC or something like that that's what we're what we're aiming for but again I want to hear what you guys think about this recent news if this is actually gonna happen the possibilities and if so let me 
me know all this and more in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. And definitely check me out on Twitch so you can talk to me about this while I'm playing some games during the live stream. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always down to talk Power Rangers no matter what I'm playing. Take care of yourselves, guys. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I will see y'all next time. It's morning time.